Hello Libra, welcome to another morning inspo. If you are new here, I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Welcome, 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 welcome. I do have a download. It's more so like a love download, relationships um, download. Someone is manifesting love, all right? Manifesting a specific person. This could be a past person to reconcile. This could be a new person to come into your life, but you are manifesting it and, uh, and it's spiraling. So right now, what you want to do is give thanks as if you already have it. We already know those things. Act as if you already have it. Um, it applies to love as well. Like, if you wouldn't be so anxious if you had that person, then you need to ease yourself down and not be so anxious. And this could be friendships, whatever. You're manifesting a person in. You're pulling. Now it's like the energy of the pool, pulling in um, someone's energy. So that is for someone. Make sure that you give thanks for receiving the love that you desire, you dream, and you desire. Like, you give thanks to that. All right? Um, I also did have another download, and this is about emptying self. Um, somebody is trying to figure out how do they start over, how are they going to get through some type of past, um, hurts, past pains, how do they forgive, or how do they start this physical, um, the spiritual journey. And there's an emptying of self. That needs to happen where you kind of um, become empty of all experiences, all things, and kind of come back to the beginning for somebody. I'm getting that somebody needs to go back to the beginning and take out everything. Like, let's say if you have a big bag and over life, you've filled this bag with things, experiences, hurt, pain, and then now you get to this point where this bag is becoming health, um, empty. I mean, heavy, and you get to a point where you want to do things differently or you learn more or you are breaking certain agreements, well, there's a need for you to empty out all of that bag and pick up these new things on the way. It's just the feeling of starting over. It's just the feeling of not knowing. It's the feeling of admitting that you are a student, which we are always students, um, or forever a student. And it's just being able to like breathe again. Breathe again. Shout out to Tony Braxton, another Libra. All right, so let's get right into this morning inspo. I want to say sorry about yesterday. I needed to rest. Um, I actually have been thinking about um, doing the morning inspos not every day. Um, doing it like probably every other day. Um, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then having something else. I'm trying to figure out what else I can put in place of the morning inspo because as I keep going and as I keep expanding, it's like some days I just need that, that day where I want to just rest. Or it could be four days, but I'm definitely thinking about not doing five days. <clears throat> you guys get a lot from me. But, um, also because I'm focusing on the Patreon now, uh, which will be, I will be, um, putting that out tomorrow. Definitely had to get some things done with the Patreon and stuff like that. Um, and just other things that I do want to focus on now. That's just going to pull my attention away a little bit. Um, so I do, did want to do, we could do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then the Saturday morning as well. I'm going to pull up a poll of the certain of the days so you guys can let me know which days you want. Or if you don't care, just as long, long as I'm posting, you're fine with it. Um, but yeah, I had to just rest. Yesterday, I felt like... <sighs> I would not say I could not get up because I definitely could have gotten up. I definitely could have mustered it through. But yesterday, I just felt like... I just wanted to rest. I just wanted to lay. I just wanted to relax. What does spirit wants us to affirm today? It's not like a robot. 
what the spirit wants us to affirm today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, maybe do a quick spell since we do the affirmations. All right. I am grateful for what I have and I am fearless. Let's say it four times together. I am grateful for what I have. I am fearless. I am grateful for what I have. I am fearless. I am grateful for what I have. I am fearless. I am grateful for what I have. I am fearless. All right. It says, what am I most grateful for and how do I show gratitude? And what is my greatest fear? What small step can I take to overcome this fear? Gratitude, fearlessness. I'm grateful for what I have. I am fearless. There's a person who needs to take it all in. Take it all in. Be thankful for the little things. Like everything you touch today, thank God for it. Thank you, God, for this desk. You know, just somebody needs to take it all in. Somebody has been forgetting, like, that gratitude is the number one ingredient for grounding yourself. Gratitude is the number one ingredient. Being thankful for just where you are, who you are, what you have right now, that gives you this level of grounding and stability that is just. You can't buy that. Um, that's something that you do have to work on. So there's a person who forgot. Like Someone has also been reaching outside of themselves for validation and also for grounding. Like Someone is looking. I do feel like there's a person who could have been through something or there's a person who's very, very new to this spiritual journey. Um, but both people are in that place of what is my identity and who am I now that I know something or now that something has happened? And um, reaching outside of yourself for all of these different things, for grounding, for stability, um, to deepening your roots is kind of like all the way, by, by, uh, it's all the way backwards. Um, when all that grounding, everything that starts from within, so somebody needs to kind of like, take it all like resubmerse themselves in their life and who they are and what they have in their life and what they're thankful for and just the little things it could just be the little things um for some of you guys it may start off with the little things like i'm thankful for the pen i'm thankful for my bracelet i'm thankful for my smile then it gets deeper so i do feel like there's a person who definitely needs to start a gratitude list every morning and every morning write about 21 things that you are grateful for. And I would say more things because it gets you to kind of really, really, really think instead of just those five things where you could say, I'm thankful for God, I'm thankful for my life, I'm thankful for my um, mom, I'm thankful for my dad, I'm thankful for... You could just say those things, five things. But if we were to stretch you every single morning, you do something like at least 21 things, then you'll be able to stretch and really, really look at yourself and really like take... A magnifying glass on the little things, on the things that you may have skipped, on the things that you may have um, not looked at as being grateful for. It gets you to stretch yourself, okay? So let's go ahead into the several energy of the day. is the tarot energy for Libra? Someone's missing a person. There's a person who wished that someone didn't show their other side and they want a person to go back and it's like spirit is like, no, but you asked me to reveal to you. You asked me to reveal and now that I've revealed it, now you're like, no, 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 no. Could we go back to the old days? Could we just go back? And Spirit is like, no, you asked me to reveal this. You asked for discernment. You wanted to know who people were or what intentions, whose intentions were, whose intentions. If you've ever thought like, I just wish the relationship could go back before whatever happened. Or I just wish this, you know, I wish we wasn't here now. That's just 
hiding from the signs. Spirit wanted to give you the truth, and it's something that you ask for. So if you have the tendency of like um, wanting to figure things out, and then when you find out the truth, you're like, no, it can't be that. No, no. You deny it. Um, that's a big, big thing with inner trust. And you got to get just, do you not trust yourself because you fear you're going to be wrong? Or do you not trust yourself because you fear you're going to be right? And a lot of people fear that they're going to be right. So they kind of like throw it out their heads. And no, no, no. Let me think positive. Let me change my attitude. What is the tarot energy of the day for Libra? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. What is the tarot energy for Libra today? Thank you. Now I can talk regular. The tarot energy is the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords. Truth, clarity. Wow. For some of you guys, you're seeing so much true colors here. Um, you do have the devil energy. I do also feel like um, some type of negative energy, the enemy energy, the devil energy is definitely going to be exposed to you in someone, something, someplace. Like, I feel like right now, um, there's been little red flags, red flags, red flags, but now here's the big red bull or the red elephant. That's something that you can't miss. Okay, um, what you don't know, what you're going to find out is that something has been an illusion. It was an illusion. Maybe this is your thinking. Um, I'm strongly feeling like that this is a person who you're finally starting to see their true colors. And there's something that's going to happen that you will not be able to miss. You're going to get the hint. Okay, you're going to get the picture clear as day. There's something that you're not going to be able to miss. No matter how much you try to think positive out of it, it's just not going to work. And this could be like a job. You can just get the gist that, listen, there's no growth or there is some type of malicious or toxic. I can't ignore that this, this environment is toxic anymore. You see what I'm saying? Like, I can't ignore the problem anymore. It's gotten out of control. Or I can't ignore the person anymore. Something has gotten out of control. It's, give, it's given that type of energy. Um, for some of you guys, this has a lot to do with your own mind. Um, for some of you guys, you're going to be seeking help or seeking some type of counsel or talking to someone. Um, I do have butterfly event sessions on the website down below in the description bar. Um, you are going to be talking to somebody because you realize that. Something your own mind is 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 becoming an enemy and like for real like getting actual therapeutic help. Okay, when it comes to your mind or actually talking to there's someone even talking to another person could be therapeutic because a lot of people keep those things inside and in our heads. They can be huge. They can be the size of elephants in our heads because our imaginations are brilliant. And they can make these things really, really big. Um, so something is coming to your, is coming to the, is pushing out to the forefront. And it's like you, you asked for this, you wanted to know. Well, I'm pushing this thing out, and there's no ignoring it. It's either you're gonna make the choice to either not do anything and stay where you are in the mess. Okay, you're gonna make the choice to stay in the mess, stay in the low vibe, stay with the toxic person, stay in the toxic job. You're going to either make accommodations for the toxicity or you're going to see the toxicity and move out or figure out ways to move away from it. But the point is here is that the toxicity is being exposed. It's either you, you make accommodations for it or you move out. But the thing that you're making accommodations for is toxic and you know that it's toxic. The Ace of Swords is about a knowing. It's about you getting clarity. No matter if you if you deny it or not, no matter if you choose to kind of make accommodation accommodations for it, the ace of swords is you know now. All right, in the middle of the deck, we do have the world card. There will be a lot of doors closing because of this, okay? 
Um, and not doors closing where you're stuck, where you're like, oh, woe is me, I'm so alone. It's doors closing and moving on. Because for some of you guys, this toxic energy, this devil-like energy has been holding you back. It has been keeping you stuck. It has been keeping you in a state of fear. Um, because a lot of you guys have seen this already, but you feared the truth. You feared what it actually can be. Now you see exactly what something is and you close the door to it, which is really, really good. The world card coming up here is really, really good. It is a major arcana, which means the energy is very, very strong about closing something off, about seeing something, understanding that you've outgrown it, understanding that a cycle has ended. And I feel like you're going to realize that some type of relationship or some type of job or some journey has come to an end. And it needs to come to an end once you realize the level of toxicity in this journey. Or once you realize where you've been that has been very, very toxic. Or once you realize the, the amount of toxicity that's in a person. That's the, that's the word today. Toxicity. Okay. Alright. Let's get right into this reading. But first, let's go ahead into the blessing bag. Um... I am going to go into the Star Sea Oracle and the Archangel Michael Sword of Light Oracle for today's reading. What is in the blessing bag for Libra? Do we get two blessings today? Of course. You got the job. Oh, wow. And you have swimming in success. Congratulations, Libra. You have got, you got the job. So for some of you guys who are, um, who has been applying, uh, applying to jobs, who has been trying to um, stretch their wings when it comes to career wise, you got the job. This job is going to be a higher paying job than your last job. Um, you, you do have swimming in success. Um so a lot of you guys are very, very successful. If this is a job, this could be a gig, this could be a sponsorship, this could be something, you got it. There's something that you applied for, you went out for, and you're actually going to get the job. Remember last week when I told you to start, um, oh, this had to be like two weeks ago when I told you to start actually applying for the jobs that you want and not the jobs that you think you can get. Only apply for the jobs that you think you can get if those are the jobs that you want. But a lot of us, when we're going through this job search thing, we'll apply to the things that we know that we can get depending on how desperate we are to make an income. But what about the job that you want? What about the job that you want to do? What about the job that you feel like, wow, I may not have enough, enough experience, but I know I would do amazing in this field. And Spirit is telling you what you want wants you, but you, first you have to reach for the stars first. And you just might grab one. So uh, congratulations to all of you guys who have been on the job search. Um, it's looking like, look, you got a yes, yes, yes. Take it as yours. Like this is yours. You do have the job. You are swimming in success. Career is definitely going to be looking good. Make sure you reach for the stars. Make sure you bet on you. So we can do, again, like all May long, we are betting on ourselves. We are doing the things that we want to do and not the things that we feel like we need to do or we have to do. It's a difference, okay? All right. All right, so let's get right into this morning inspo. I'm starting off with the Star Sea Oracle. into this reading for Libra Sun Moon Rising. And I gotta get, I have a no appointment today. I did not like my press ones at all. So. Back to the acrylics now. All right, what are your garden? What are your garden? Okay, another way of, of grounding yourself because we're talking about grounding. Great um, gratitude being the number one ingredient ingredient when it comes to grounding, but also loving yourself. 
nourishment, body care, tenderness, rest. That's probably why I was in the 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 energy of just resting, just being gentle with my body. Like I'm like, I do enough. <laughs> I do enough. I can rest. I can rest today. Uh they'll be fine. Um so just taking care of yourself, you, if you were a plant, what would be the status of your plant? Would will your plant be flourishing or will it be barely getting by? Or would the thing be just shriveled up and just like and then a lot of this has to do with you getting up in the morning and you going over to fill everyone else's cup instead of you making sure that you you are good. Um, and then there's a lot of people who could do this like really, really good. You're, you wonder like, how is this person able to be there for everybody, every, you know, everyone? It's because they make themselves feel, they make themselves feel good. They fill themselves up in the morning. They get their armor that they need in the morning and they're ready for the day. A lot of people, they wake up in the morning and the first thing that they do is pour out all of their energy or they let their energy be robbed by the next day. Um, so I feel like the energy is to just to be smarter about your own energy. Instead of feeling guilty, for some of you guys, you have gotten, that's that's all of us, if we were to be honest, we have gotten to certain spaces in our life where we have created relationships over filling other people's cups first. Instead of feeling guilty for it, just start filling your cup up because there's nothing, nothing's going to happen out of you just feeling guilty and sorry for yourself. Um, but if you were to put that into an action and start actually loving on yourself, filling your own cup up first, then, well, then, then the magic happens. Okay. All right. What is the morning inspo for Libra? Thank you. Child of the cosmos. You have all paths lead home, inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. Talked about that um, with the affirmation, turning your gaze within instead of outside, looking outside of yourself for a lot of things. You do have the child of the cosmos, so right now the Akashic records are open to you. The intelligence of the universe lies within you, and a lot of you guys are tapping into that. You're using your body to bring you these things that you want. We talked about in the beginning how somebody is actually manifesting love. And right now it's time for you to think, start think, thanking um, God, thank the universe for bringing that love, that assistance to you. For some of you guys, you're like, well, I got love or I'm not really looking for love really now. I'm, I'm looking for um, career. I'm looking for success. I'm looking for finances to be, you know, excellent. So there's the need for you to start thanking um, God in the universe for bringing these amazing finances in your life, for allowing you to um, <clears throat> enjoy and experience the success of a lifetime right now. Um, and also say thanks as if it's already happened to you and actually live as is as if it already happened to you. Now, you may not have the means to go buy the things that you would want to do, but you can cultivate this energy of this accomplishment of accomplished, like I did this, I'm successful. It's that inner smile that you carry on with you. Um, so that's going to be good. Um, there's a lot of people understanding that they are the galaxy themselves and whatever it is that they want is within their grasp. And a lot of this is coming from prayer and meditation. So definitely keep that up. You do have high ray of longing for home, sick for the stars. There is a person who is in a career, a dead in career in it's just not giving them what it is that they want, period. Someone's in career and it's just not fulfilling them. Or someone has this job. I feel like there's a person who could have loved the job at first. Now you get to this point where you just don't love your job and you're longing for something else. It says, homesick for the stars. There's a person who know what it feels like to actually do what it is that they want to do and maybe... Things happen and you had to do what you have to do. And now you're in a place where you're like, okay, I wish I was doing 
X, Y, Z instead of this. There's also a person who just feels like in career they don't belong in that space. And we talked about um, the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room. The, um, the true colors being exposed of the toxicity. This is toxicity being exposed through people, through places. It's things that you do not need in your life. Spirit is telling you, and it's going to be really, really big. Um, but this leads to closing of the door. Um, this leads to a cycle ending. This leads to outgrowing an environment, outgrowing people and understanding that it's time for you to move on because of the toxicity that is there. Um, in love, you do have big picture thinking. Um, there's a need. I feel like there could be two people that could be in breakdown or there is two people that have a beautiful future together and if you're in breakdown it's to look at the things that you guys built it's the bigger picture okay um it's look at the love that you guys do have on a daily basis not just the problem um also there's there's um two people that are coming together that are building this big picture they have this big picture mindset and they are building this thing together it's like when two heads come together but this has a lot to do with love so it's almost given like when two bodies come together for some of you guys you may have this big picture where um a person's idea of family actually matches your it complements your idea of family now you guys may not have the same parenting style but they complement one another and that's beautiful but both of you guys can mesh in and um both parenting styles can live and agree and go with each other. For some of you guys, this has something to do with the home. Um, you both have different ideas of what the your dream home is, but they actually coincide together. It's actually a beautiful idea once these two minds get together. It's like what happens when two minds get together. It paints a beautiful picture. It becomes a masterpiece. So um, there could be a couple in breakdown or there could be a couple that's just getting together that's realizing that this is a like mind, okay? This person is not someone who is trying to put your lid on, not somebody who's trying to control you. This is a like mind that's someone that's trying to add to the picture with their big picture, okay? You have the weight of the world, boundaries, let it go. It's not yours to carry. Somebody is feeling very, very, there's a person very, very way down. This is happening on the spiritual plane. Um, someone is, this could be your spiritual body or whatever it is. It's filling the weight of the world. Something is getting very, very, very heavy. And this has to do with um, boundaries, the weakness of boundaries. Also, um, self-boundaries, like everything is inner today. So self-boundaries, not having boundaries for yourself, allow telling yourself, well, that's enough, pondering on that. That's enough beating yourself up, or that's enough talking to yourself that type of way. Um, there is, a person has been making themselves guilty or making themselves wrong for another person's action. Like something that's not yours to carry, and there needs to be a boundary of what you pick up and what you put on your plate because this is not yours. Why are you making yourself responsible for this next person's growth? Why are you making yourself responsible for this next person's um, emotions when you are not responsible for those things? Um, so I feel like the responsibility, there's a person who, someone could be a martyr, somebody, somebody could love to just save the day and they put a lot of weight on themselves. Or someone could just be used to putting a lot of weight on themselves. Somebody feels like that that's what they have to do in order to be seen, heard, and loved. They have to come up drained. So a person knows that like, okay, oh, they love me. When everybody else doesn't have the same type of thing where they have to show up drained, carrying all your stuff, no. So I do feel like there's a person who's going to have the time to get some type of boundaries or to, to create, to establish some new boundaries. I do also feel like there could be certain relationships that are going to highlight in your head whether you're steep or whether you're up, certain types of relationships are going to come to you. And those relationships need boundaries around them. Those relationships are relationships that you are picking things up that aren't yours from. You are becoming accountable and you're making yourself responsible for things that just aren't your responsibility. And it's causing a lot of strain. 
something is very, very, it's weighing you down. It's, it's too heavy for you. All right. Um, what's coming? The advice for spirit is to wait. Something is not time yet. Um, things are still being woven. Things are still being put together. So spirit is telling you to wait so really quick. Have patience. Let something play out before you act or before you move. And um, what's coming towards you is forged, don't follow. There's a new path that you're paving. We talked about that. Um, and this is the time where you're going to be the leader that you wish you had. So for some of you guys, you may be put in a, type, in a certain type of position. So this is what this is telling me. Forge, don't follow. Um, we did talk about the toxicity coming out, right? Um, that type of... That devil energy or the enemy energy being exposed in a certain type of light. This comes from the um, oppressor. Okay? Somebody has been op oppressed in a situation. And now they get to the t opportunity to become the leader. Okay? Could, could possibly be the leader of a whole type of organization that boss or something could be getting kicked out and now people are asking you to take the place of this this leadership role either way you're going into a leadership role where at first you were the person who were being oppressed by a certain type of leader so and then in that oppression you could have thought about if i were i would do this i would do that i would do i would do i would do now is your turn to be this leader for some of you guys this could be finance financial um, you could have had a person come to a large um, lump sum of money. And with that large lump sum of money, there's a person who could have tried to oppress you. Somebody could have tried to make you feel low, kind of make you feel weighted, kind of make you feel drained. Well, now it's your turn to come into this success, okay? Some of you guys, you, did, you didn't follow. The thing is, you didn't follow. So the, the oppressor was doing his job, was come over there to oppress cause bad vibes, um, be toxic. And the reason why the oppressor is doing that is because it wants to turn on light bulbs into the, the, the workers' minds, where now they are, in return, treating their other people badly. Now they are, in return, like, okay, now it's a doggy dog where I got to take care of myself. It's that lack mentality, creating a lack mentality. And the fact that you didn't conform, the fact that you paved a new path, the fact that you did not follow, now leadership is giving to you. So th this could also be happening with money. Or this could also happen with um, love relationships. Like there could be a, a person who could have been in a love relationship. Whatever it is, someone used their power and to make you feel oppressed. And now that very same power that somebody had that made... That, that try to use it to make you feel oppressed. Now you're coming into this power. And how are you going to use your power? Are you going to do what the leaders before you did, which actually made you feel oppressed? Or are you going to forge a new path, which you have been doing? Even though things get a little shaky once people come into power. Once people, you never know who needs power or who can have power once they come into power. Being a worker, everybody's good, most likely, okay? Everybody's fine when you're on it. But when you get into that power, then those true colors come out. And it's not that they've been hiding. They just get um, highlighted. They just become more bright. Um, so I feel like for some of you guys, it's your turn to lead. And how are you going to lead? Are you going to do what those people have done before you? This is about, like, oppression, Um oppression okay you do have overall is school it's earth school um life lessons yes because you are about to leave that's just basically what that is what has life taught you about what people do when they come into this amount of success this amount of power what have life taught you um and then a higher learning is like for this is how can you exceed your intelligence or your vocabulary or whatever it is, how can you exceed yourself where you're learning some, a new thing? It is common for everyone to beh behave a certain type of way which has a bit of oppression in there. It is common, but how do you raise above the fray? Because life lessons um, 
and how your soul has grown. You For some people also, I keep getting downloads, y'all. So, for some people also, <clears throat> some people think that they were placed in certain types of positions. For some of you guys, this clarity that comes out from this toxic energy, um, it's going to come out why you needed that toxic energy, the growth and the delight in it, in the toxic energy as well, but also the toxicity. You're going to 100% identify what the toxic energy is, okay? For some of you guys, you needed to be in a certain type of position or a place because your soul needed to grow. And... You needed to do some type of learning. You needed to know yourself a little bit more. How is Libra going to act under pressure, under oppression? How are you are you going to turn into the aggressor, the oppressor? Or are you going to continue to love? Are you going to continue to share your light? Are you going to continue to share your knowledge? Are you going to continue to share your growth? We learn, we learn most about ourselves when we are in like these... Um, toxic moments. So for some of you guys, you're in this position where you have this success where you can you can lead an aggressive or an uh, op oppressive type of way, but you're not going to. You're just not going to. There's too much, too much, too much growth here, too many lessons. And all paths leads to home. For some of you guys, you've been longing for a place like where you can get a leader like you homesick it's some type of environment in career i don't know why i'm just getting career but this could be any type of thing love somebody could have used their their, their relationship to, to try to weaponize you to try to make you feel a certain type of way and now you get it are you going to make this person feel some type of way somebody could have it, it could be like looks or something like it, it could be like weight loss somebody use their weight loss and try to make you feel some type of way well now is your turn to come into this so it could just be glow up this could just be, be your season somebody use their glow up to make you look some type of feel some type of way well now you're in the glowing chair and how 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 are you going to do it? Somebody could have used their money to make you feel a certain type of way. Well, now you have money. And how are you going to make this person feel? And life is just like a circle. And I feel like you're just going to be the bigger person. And not just to be like, well, because I'm better than you. It's just because you strongly don't believe in leading that way. Don't have nothing to do with the other person. For some of you guys, you strongly don't believe in leading that way. You're like, no, I would never. Right. Let's see. Tell me more about Child of the Cosmos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, your vibration is rising. As you're starting to learn, as you're starting to tap more into your Akashic records, your um, vibration is rising. It says this is a time of great spiritual growth for you. You are evolving to occupy a higher energetic frequency. For some of you guys, this has a lot to do with this level of leadership. Um, it's your turn to sit in the chair. It is your turn to lead. It is your turn to do something. How are you going to convey this? How are you going to live this out? What are you going to do? We already know you're not going to live like your oppressors. Oppressors. Some 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 low vibes will. Some low vibes will. But I feel like for the people who are here who show up here all the time, you're just not. Um it's time for you to put your creative energy into action. It's time for you to put out your creations. For like I said, for some of you guys, it's still it's still time, okay? You can go ahead and reach for the stars for those um, higher paying jobs and jobs like that that you wish. For some of you guys, it is it is some type of creative idea that you've been thinking about that you have not put out there. For some of you guys, you've even done the work. You have not put out there, and I'm talking to myself because I literally wrote four romance novels. Like, I'm a writer at heart. Four romance novels, and they just sitting right there. It's just sitting right there. I got this stack of, because I like to pen and pad all my authors out there. I like, you know, write pen and pad. And um, I just have not even begun to edit. They just have a stack of 
books just sitting there filled with four romance novels. Some of you guys actually have the work done and it's just sitting there for what? The universe wants to see it. The universe wants to see it. There's people who need it, actually. Um, I didn't notice that until I put my first book out, side, sidebar. I put my first book out. Um, it's a poetry book. And it's just my thoughts. And I didn't know that it was needed until I put it out there. And so many people, as people came to me, they was like, my daughter, my daughter reads that book every night or blah, 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 blah. My girlfriend, my, my wife, my whatever loves your book. When are you making the next one? Like they were like, when, when are you making the next one? When are you making the next one? When are you making the next one? When are you writing the next one? When's, when's the sequel coming out? And you don't know how much your stuff is, is needed out there or how much like you could have talked to a soul. You could have just gave somebody some type of hope. Um, so it's time for you to put your creations out there, okay? Yeah. There's some current challenges that are going to be over soon. For some of you guys, it's almost over. Stick it out. Tell me more about how Reyes. Some of you guys, you're going through financial problems. It's almost over. You're almost getting yourself back caught up in a space where you won't have to go through that again, okay? Tell me more about how Reyes. All right. Be honest with yourself. All your feelings, even the difficult ones, have a message for you. Accept your truth, then let source take it from there. Be honest with yourself about this environment in which you have placed yourself in because society has told us um, that everybody goes to jobs that they hate. That's the like, most common thing or goes to places that they hate. When you don't like it here, um, your feelings are telling you this, okay? It says, open up to your spiritual your spiritual gifts. Remember that you are true. Your nature, your true nature is spiritual, not physical. The angels, the angels are sending you messages for your soul's growth. All right. Um, and you also have yes. You are correct. There's a person who needs to get out of their environment. And this is for career. Someone's not doing something. They're tired of doing, like they're longing for, like literally longing for something else. You'll be surprised how much energy a career, or how much, how much power a career has over your emotions and your confidence and just your positive, how, how positive you feel, your optimism when you go into the dead end job. It don't matter how long you stay in that place. Because you can just go like a couple days a week, but when once it's getting closer to be at that environment, your body starts tensing up, you start having these thoughts. So you might as well be there already because you're already there in your mind. All right, tell me more about big picture thinking. All right, take control of your thoughts. Thoughts are creating your reality. Have faith and stay focused on the outcome that you desire. All right. Um, for someone, your thoughts, when it comes to love, stay focused on the outcome that you desire, especially for those of you who are manifesting this love that you want, this love that you um, have been dreaming of. It says, this is a blessing in disguise. Be patient and have faith that your angels have this situation under control. What will come is far better than you dare to dream of. Okay, so even though spirit is going to give you something way better than what it is that you dreamed of, you need to be in the vibration. You need to be in the vibration. You need to think of the bigger picture. You need to stay focused on creating the reality that you want. All right, recognize the signs from above. Um, you are protected when it comes to love. Um, I feel like there's going to be a love, a love story that's like written in synchronicities and also different colors. And what I mean by that is that, um, what I mean by that is that there's a person, they're going to call you at times that's going to be like 222, 1010, 1212. Um, there may be a constant song on the radio. Um, there may be some type of color that they're like, you always go somewhere and it's a blue background or it's a red. It's, it's something there that's just going to be riddled in synchronicities. 
All right. And you, for the weight of the world, you do have changes coming, which is what we were talking about. That change is coming. You got the weight of the world on top of you. Boom. Now you're about to be on top of the world. Okay. I'm here to guide you through this exciting transformation. This is a time of joyous opportunities. Put your creative... For some of you guys, this is this is directly linked to your creative work. This is directly linked to your creations. For some, there's a person who is not, not being 100% creative because they've picked up the projections and the insecurities of other people around them. There's other people who are insecure about them themselves um, putting their best foot forward. It's other people who are insecure about themselves following their dreams. So they say little things around you. And what you've done is you've picked that up and you've ingested it. It has nothing to do with you because you wasn't. You aren't. Something has nothing to do with you and you keep picking it up. But a change is coming. A transformation is coming. Um, the Spirit is telling you that something's not yours. It wasn't yours to carry. But you had to be down here because there is a change coming where the world's on top of you and then you're going to be on top of the world. And you had to see something about projection, oppression, a lot of things that, that happens at the bottom of the surface that's more, you know, um, broadcast or highlighted at the bottom of the surface. It's more doggy, dog world. It's more harsh. It's more toxic. It's, it's, it's more hard. It's more heavy. There's something that you had to experience. It's almost giving me the scripture where is I put you in a room where no one knew you were king. It's giving God didn't need them to know who you were. God needed to for you to know who they were. Okay? Period. All right. Trust the guidance that you're receiving. Spiritual guidance that you are receiving. Tell me more about weight. While you wait, the trust muscle, strengthening that trust muscle. This experience has divine meaning. Healing will come. Know that you are on a path of growth. While you wait, while something is telling you to be um, patient, there's a need for you to know exactly and trust exactly the path that you are being led on. Trust exactly where you are right now in your life. Trust there's a need for you to trust. Um, you do have, yes, you are correct. Um, listen to your inner guidance. And you've listened to your inner guidance and made a wise choice. Keep on moving forward. Okay? So you have made a wise choice that's put you up to this period of time where it could look like the void. It could look like nothing's happening. It's like, okay, it could look like a delay. It looks like a delay. But in this time of delay, a lot of things happen to people. Number one, a person loses their faith and they conform back to where they've already came from only to hit this place because it's no getting out of this place you have to hit this door you have to hit the space where you don't know where you have to completely trust god you have to completely have faith where you cannot move by your sight anymore because this is what the sight looks like it's dark and you don't know where you're going you don't know what's coming you don't know what to expect so you cannot go off your sight anymore in this time a lot of things happen to um this happens to us a lot I've been here a couple of times and I gave up. And so when I try things, I'm like, I know that wall is coming and I'm going to have to be stronger than my mind. I'm going to have to be stronger than the people who have, you know, nasty or negative um, opinions about what I, I'm, I'm choosing to do with my life, about where God is taking me in my life. And I just have to trust. OK, so in this time where you're you're being asked to be patient God is telling you to trust and you will manifest exactly what it is that you need. You will manifest exactly what it is that you need. Tell me more about Forge Don't Follow. And this is coming soon, y'all. given the world was on top of you now you're on top of the world
<laughs> and guess who's right with you? Archangel Michael is right with you, even though you can't see it. I'm actively working on this situation. I am in here helping you, helping you lead, helping you become the leader that you wish you had, helping you become the person. It could be the mother that you wish you had. It could become the sister that you wish you had. For some of you guys, this is when the oppressor gets the power. and um, or, or No, the oppressed gets the power. And the oppressed has the choice to either treat the oppressors like they have treated them or you have a choice to do something beautiful. Become the leader that you wish you needed, that, that you wish you had. Become the person that you wish you had. Become the person that you wanted, that you feel like will be, instead of becoming your, a lot of us become our abusers. So there's a big choice. There's so give, someone's going to get some power here. And in that power, you can either abuse, or you can love, or you can teach, or you can learn. And you got the way forward is open. You're not trapped. Some people feel like they have to. I feel like it's going to be very, very hard. Very hard for a person not to... It's, it's someone who deserves it. It is a person who actually deserves this. Someone who should. Like now you need to figure out how it feels. But that's not your job. That's not your job to do that. They're going to... Trust me, they're going to figure out how it feels. But it's not your job to do it. Maybe seeing you lead in a way that their their effects or their effects didn't bother you. Maybe that's the same form of oppression that you could have experienced from them leading in a way of toxicity and aggression and just complete terrorism. Um, you are not trapped. Possibilities and opportunities are abound. I will guide you to personal and spiritual freedom. And it's almost over. That oppression is almost over. Um, your current challenges will be soon resolved and you will be able to look to the future with a smile because you will be leading now. That is why you'll be able to look to the future and be like, wow. Because you will be in the lead, okay? All right, tell me more about Earth School. All right, trust the guidance you are receiving. Archangel Uriel has blessed you with, brilliant, with a brilliant epiphany. I am also present to clear your way and your worries. So trust, so you can trust your divine guidance. Trust the guidance that you are receiving. Okay? And be the real, this is be the real you. Your greatest power comes from being who you truly are. Don't let anyone sway you from expressing yourself. That's, that's the that's the oppressor. The oppressor is trying to sway. You are not an oppressor. You are not. You don't even want to treat people that way. Don't let them sway you from being exactly where you, exactly who you are. All right? Get your power back. Your power is in who you are. Okay? So, that's a, that was a beautiful message. That was a beautiful message. Let's go into the angel messages. I feel like I've been talking for a while. Let me see how long it's been. Oh, wow. It's like an hour. Gee, he sucks. Partnership. I've been getting this card a lot. Partnership. Unlimited ideas. Akashic records are open to you. Let's get one more. I got two more. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. You have partnership. Allow helpful, supportive partnerships into your personal life and career. And both parties benefit as a result. You are receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources okay you have unlimited ideas your mind is one with god's infinite mind therefore you have complete access to to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings all you need to do is to take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition we talked about all of that right several vows of poverty 
Dear one, there is no need to surface on sacrifice or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime. As you do so, all effects of those vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time, okay? And a raise or promotion, I'm telling you. Congratulations. An increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work, okay? So that is your morning inspo. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.